Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here with my friend Robbie. Ah! Or. I love that. It's so I much fun. It. It's so great. Alright, so. Serious conversation. Um, So, on our last video, we talked about homosexuality in particular. We didn't get super in detail, but we talked about the basics. Uh, I was like, I'm trying to get. I'm, it's hard. I want to give a thorough answer, so I'm trying to frame the conversation. There will be a link to part one in the description below. So, and if you want to, it's I, it's hard for me to reference a certain point in the conversation. This is it, for us. This is one conversation. Yeah. For y'all, this is multiple parts. And I was just like a three-hour video. Who's gonna want to sit and watch that? A lot, most people wouldn't even want to sit down and watch a thirty-minute video, especially not one with a you know, such not controversial be, topics. In yeah. It. There's not gonna be like some heavy editing or music in the background to make this entertaining. This is it's an informal debate of sorts. So this is. Despite the people in it, this is very intellectual and waiting. Uh, so, well, that's because we're at the point we're talking about religion and yeah. things like that. And, and we made clear in the last video, you are very religiously minded yes. and semi-politically minded. Yes, I'm very religiously and politically minded. <laughs> yes. So, and I, we both know our shit. We just think differently about said shit. Yes. And we're goofy as we're saying the shit. So. And the sleep deprivation is, the sleep deprivation is, is so for it. real. So for real. He got three hours of sleep. I got none last night. So come on, thirty hours. Tell you, this is a great. So. This is a great time for me to come out with all sorts of controversial stuff. Probably while I'm sleep battered and don't know what the heck I'm doing. So, so back you, to the whole choice thing. Okay. So we, we have, all right. So you have another so, point to make about this. Yeah, I'm just gonna again pick up from where I stood on the last video. You and you know where I stood. Right. Um, and you know what I said. Um, and for those of you who are interested, again, watch part one. Is really all I can say. So we know what good and evil is, and we're born with the knowledge that evil and good exist. Sometimes the good seems to get eclipsed by the evil in this world. It definitely has been the case for me um, on several occasions. Um, the cynicism threatened to overpower my idealism, and it's because of my faith in Christ that idealism was ultimately able to win because I believe there is a hope and a future for this world in Christ. What shapes those opinions is going to be... well. My, it's going to be how you're raised, your culture, your environment. This your environment. That's gonna, obviously going to have a huge impact on shaping who you are as a person. I personally believe the ultimate goal, regardless of your faith, is that you ultimately come to your own opinion on things and that you're not a sheep. I, I, I don't, and I don't, I'm trying not to use that word lightly because a lot of Christians, especially on YouTube, tend to think that they're in the know and that. You know, they know what's going on in the world in all aspects, not just religiously, and that, that they're the authority on so many things, like the Illuminati, for example. It, join the Illuminati with me, Robbie. Join the Illuminati. Yeah, that's right. The whole Include the I as well. That's a good thumbnail right there if I remember to <laughs> edit that in the video. I should put, like, the whole dollar sign, like, green I thing there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, that's copyrighted music, so I, I want to monetize this video because I'm a greedy Christian, and I'm going to... Yeah, I should get paid for my work, doggone, and what the heck is wrong with me for thinking that? Yeah, music's that. fucking everywhere. I'm not convinced that's not just... <laughs> I'm not convinced that's just free reign. I forgot the word for it. Um, free domain. And, and just complete... Fair use. Fair really. use. I was like, why did that word come out of my... Why did that leave my mind? I'm yeah, like, I'm not convinced that's not fair use. It. It's literally everywhere. But yeah, um, ultimately you come to your own opinions, you form your own opinions based on all of your observable data. And... Very thankfully, we live in the United States with internet. Yes. We can learn. Here in America, there is no excuse for me, him, or you. Form your own opinion. And I also want to throw this in. This I'm is in North Korea. Korea. I Exactly. <laughs> if you're North Korea and able to watch this video, God help you and strengthen you in Jesus' name. And God bless you for the environment that you're living in. Um, talk about a tough environment. And persecution, oh my gosh. Mm, I, I, neither I, one of us would be liked over there because we don't worship the leader of the nation. So neither one of us would be tolerated over there. Of course, um, I don't know. He's kind of a badass. No, it's not. It, He's it, literal shit. I remember like a two, three years ago, an image got leaked of them testing missiles from all of their ships and battleships and shit out in the water. And I think it was the CIA got a hold of it and looked at it for five minutes and they were like, yeah, 11 of those 12 ships are photoshopped in. <laughs> nice fucking try, bud. Oh, my God. It's fucking funny, honestly. 
I didn't hear that story. How am I supposed to respond? Obviously, and just I'm going to throw this in. Obviously, neither one of us are overly worried about my conservatism or his moderateness. We're not concerned about the fact that I am anti-homosexual and he's pro-homosexual. We're two dudes having a discussion and hoping to inform slash entertain you guys. And I'm not I'm not worried about insulting North Korea because he can't see the video anyway. They don't have YouTube. I was like, are they? I was like, would he, YouTube he, is specifically banned. I was going to say, are even their intelligence operators, do they even bother looking at YouTube? Probably right not. Like, if they, they did, they'd probably defect because of how embarrassed they are and how much fun gets made of them. Like, <laughs> but, um, they'd be like, oh, every other country on the planet thinks we're a fucking joke. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, America is not the worst nation in the world. FYI. No, we're nowhere near it. <laughs> Very far from it. I still believe we're number one, personally. We're and up there. I... Yeah, I'd say number one. Right. Obviously. Maybe Canada. Obviously. Canada's pretty good, and all of their girls are hot as shit. <laughs> I literally haven't seen a Canadian girl that wasn't smoking. <laughs> They're all like from France. Obviously, he's not overly offended or concerned about my opposing opinion. Just They're for all anyone, like from for anyone's, and shit. For anyone who is hashtag triggered out there, obviously, the guy who disagrees with me is not. So, again... Like I said in the first video, a little bit of grace, a little bit of forgiveness. Um, Australia's nice, but they have spiders that would eat me. That's like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The only other cons- some of the, the animals there. The cons- conservatism on the planet is dying. The only three bastions left for it in the world are the Midwest of America, some of Germany, and some of Australia. Well, I'm already in one of them. I'm not in the Midwest, but. We're in America. We're in America. We're in a conservative part of it. Yeah, we're in a conservative part of America. Um, so I'm already in one of the three. Another one of the three is actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind going to Germany. I probably wouldn't live there because I'm not German. But it's, it's a cool place. I heard they have really nice alcohol. Um, I would guess so. Yeah. yeah. They're Germans. Uh, <laughs> the third is <laughs> fucking terrifying. Not only is it sweltering heat all the fucking time. I'd enjoy that part. <laughs> it gets up to like 120 over there, I think. Oh, yeah. It, I do. I love the summer. With how pale you are, I wouldn't be able to tell. But, it, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so not as it is sweltering hot. I'm a cold person anyway. Yeah. Now it's sweltering hot. They also have spiders over there whose diets consist of chickens. Yeah. I'm good. They- <laughs> Do you guys remember the video where I showed you his reaction to Great A under his video and the spiders coming oh, out of yeah. his mouth? Fuck. Can you guys remember that? Link that in the description. Oh my god, my god. <laughs> Just the first minute of that episode is worth your time. One hundred percent. Um and I think someone just came home. Oh, I was right. If you could close the door. Yeah. Give us just a minute, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back. Hey, bro. Hey, goes my pain. There you go. You are known here. I'm known. All right. And, and to, again, trying to for, again, try not to half-ass this and trying to thoroughly answer the question, not back out. This is my coming out as a conservative video, so I'm not backing out of anything. Okay, you add as a conservative at the end of every long. You make a point. <laughs> I, I, I'm making several points here. Well, I mean, you're making a point to specify. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's so weird, like, being in an environment where... Being conservative is not popular because I live in a, an environment where generally, I'm honest, strangely enough, I'm in mostly majority opinion here. Yeah, and where we currently live, most people are, at the very least, mid right. Well, yeah, and, uh, a and lot very, of it is, very, a not, lot of it is far right. Yeah, no one, no one here would really rebuke me for saying the things that I'm saying. Well, I mean, there, there is obviously a little bit. But well, <laughs> I'm not rebuking you. I'm just disagreeing with you. Why? Well, yeah, you can draw a difference there. That's true. I'm not calling you a horrible person, that, and, even though I think you have horrible opinions. But it's. <laughs> but no, I'm mid right. Yeah. I'm I'm moderate right wing. You have you have conservative tendencies. I I'm fiscally conservative. Yeah. And socially about fifty fifty. So we know that people, we know that people are shaped by their environments and whatnot. Yeah. And herein lies the detail of choice. Um, one, I definitely don't believe that 
I don't believe evolutionarily, and I don't believe from a creation standpoint, from neither an atheist or a theistic standpoint, do I believe that we are fatalistically driven to our to whatever it is we believe that we have no choice in our desires that we're simply machines that are going to do whatever we're programmed to do or we're simply god's predestined us from the foundation of the world so we're going to do whatever it is he designed us to do we have a say in this we have a very large say in this we get to decide where we stand on these issues we get to decide where we stand with jesus and every other issue in this life yep. and it's within those formative years that I believe a large amount of influencing is done. And I do believe that homosexuality, obviously I don't think someone back in the day is going to, there's going to be some desire. You know, they're, they're not going to make a choice to deliberately disenfranchise everyone they love. Obviously they would disenfranchise everyone that they hate. And if, they, if homosexuality was the means to do it, well, back in the day when you could be killed for that... Um, uh, you modern, can still be killed for in some parts of the world. To get to draw an American equivalent, someone come out as a pedophile. You're not going to see anyone doing that. You won't. No matter how true it is, and even if they have formed some kind of ideological opinion to justify it, you're not going to see anyone with coming how, out with, with that. With how illegal and how negatively received you would be, and probably imprisoned for the, potentially the rest of your life. And pe and people want to kill pedophiles in this country. Oh, that's the thing. That's the thing. Jail. I, I was... Mm -mm. I'm a criminal justice major, right? I'm currently going to class that. I know how jail works for the most part. Jail, for those of you kiddies that don't know, jail's not a good place. Jail's where... I mean, obviously, you know, mistakes are made. But for the most part, jail is where people who have committed hit bad crimes go. Um, some of which being the most heinous. Some, yeah. Rape. Murder. Horrible things like that. Yeah. But even in that form, even in that kind of an environment, pedophilia is still held to a different regard. Yeah, it is. For example, I don't mind saying this person's name because he's a public figure. Jared Fogel. The guy who used to be the spokesperson for the subway. Got in trouble a couple years ago because he was found to be... Uh, a pedophile. Yeah, he, he, he had... Uh, child pornography and he was proven to be a pedophile and he conspired to commit sexual acts with children horrible horrible things um, and he deserves the harshest crime that we can get because fuck that or the harshest penalty harshest yeah. penalty that's it right um, in jail people like that by other people that are imprisoned people that have themselves committed horrible things rape, murder I've already told you, told you about it. they will go after pedophiles specifically. Yeah. For example, within weeks of Jared Fogel being in prison, and he's a public figure. Yeah, yeah. He was probably being detained in a relatively safe position. Within weeks of being there, he was beaten nearly to death by other inmates. That is the penalty that could potentially be held, legally or not. That is the penalty that could potentially be held for coming out as a pedophile in this country. Yeah. And I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that. Fuck those guys. They're horrible, horrible people. I, lowest scum on this planet. Jared Fogel's on third. Yeah. Fuck that guy. He deserved the beating. Whether it was legal or not. I, I'm not going to condemn the guys for doing it. Um, but if you were to do that in this country, you could be killed for it. Or beaten near death. And that, and I wanted to frame the discussion around that because that gives really good context to what I'm about to say. Right. One thing that really blows my mind, and if this is a logical inconsistency, please point this out. All the arguments that are, are applied to homosexuality, and I don't, I'm not referring to like the moral right or wrong, it's just the pure... Pardon. The whole choice and desire portion of it. How are any of the arguments for homosexuality, how are they different from an argument a pedophile can make for their pedophilia? Um, for the mindset itself, just for the act of being attracted to people of the same sex, or the act of being attracted to children, they're uh, 
as for their abnormality, which I've covered previously about how abnormal does not mean bad. I hope that wasn't in the video we scrapped. Well, if it was, you if just it was, said it. I'll recover it lightly. Um, just because something's abnormal doesn't mean that it's bad. Uh, we we spoke recently about how there was a, a pew poll done among people who identified as something other than heterosexual. Only three percent of the U.S. population yes. accounts for people that do not that identify as anything other than heterosexual. I'm pretty being, sure that was in the video we scrapped. Okay. Yeah, that being, was the that was being the only homosexual, uh, transgender. You know, something outside of your uh, of being a heterosexual born gender person. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that accounts for roughly three percent of the population. So, yeah, saying that that is abnormal is not the same as saying that is bad. Saying that something is abnormal is simply saying that, that is outside of normality. Meaning that it's yeah. it's rare. It's not what most people do. Which, if only 3% of the population accounts for that, that is rare. That's not what most people do. Out of, I think we're up to 357 million people in this country. Somewhere in that vicinity, yeah. That means that around 1.5 million, give or take, identify as one of those things. Yeah. My math could be off. But, roughly, that's not, so that's not common. That is, yeah. that would make it abnormal. Oh, real quick, we didn't cite a source, um... Young Turks did a video where they actually, a Gallup poll, an official poll was Gallup, done. Gallup, not Pew. Okay. Um, so if you type in something like Young Turks homosexual Gallup poll, you should be able to find the video. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description, but I can't guarantee that. I would love to be able to just link that particular right. thing. Because, I mean, that's an official source. Yeah. We're not citing Wikipedia here. Right. We're, fi we're citing a very official, if you want to look at statistics, that's pretty much where you go. Gallup and Pew are the two. Yeah. Um, I, that's why I thought it was Pew, because they're very, they're yeah. both very official. Um, so, when I say that one of these things is abnormal, I'm not saying it's bad. He's saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it's outside of, uh, it's not common. Yeah. Which that, being abnormal does not equal a negative connotation. I just want to make that as clear as possible. Which, like I said, we already may have. We may have scrapped it. I don't remember. Um. I'm pretty sure we did. So okay. now with that, with that now with groundwork that, established. With that groundwork established. As for the abnormality of it, meaning that most people aren't pedophiles, yeah, um, you could uh, equivalent them to be the same thing, give or take, roughly. I assume that there are less pedophiles than gay people, but and there's no way, and there's no way. Well, no, because they won't admit it because they'll be killed for it or beaten to death. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, or in prison for the rest of their life. What we do know beyond a shadow of a doubt is that pedophiles do exist. Oh yes. We know that beyond a shadow of a doubt because they have been tried, convicted, and the victims have come out and said, yeah, this, 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 that, and the other has happened to right. me. So we know this isn't a made-up thing. This happens. Pedophilia is something that does happen. As dark and demented as it is. So it really is. The question arises in my mind... Well, I, I, I do want to finish the point. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, j I, I just wanted to... I, 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 it's my fault. I stopped. Um, but because I forgot I had a second fold to this. So as for the mindset itself, you could equate them to be this, uh, roughly the same thing. As for the actions, or the desire of committing the actions, even taking what's legal and what's illegal out of it, they are two completely different things. Um, one is two consenting adults who feel for each other in a way that they would do the doobly and potentially get married under current laws. Mm -hmm. um, one is a fully grown adult being attractive and potentially taking advantage of a child that is not fully physically or mentally developed. Probably doesn't know what the hell's going on. And they're just doing it because they're being told to. That's different from two consenting adults. So that's for the mindset itself and how it is not Normal, you could call them similar. As for the actions, they're on two different, separate playing fields. Wouldn't argue that point. Um, I will. I will pick at the. You said nothing legal comes into play there. Why well, I'm saying taking the legality out of it. I was. Uh, I was going to say it's that's kind of impossible to do considering what that what the issue we're talking about is. Um, even well, the yeah, definitions so you gave are very legal in the way you phrased it. Well, that's not well. I see what you're saying. Let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it, Matt. 
taking all kind of legal punishment laws out of it. Two consenting adults can be psychologically evaluated. That's not law, that's science. Can be psychologically evaluated. See, they have similar brain function, functions. They're both mentally aware of what's happening, and they're both okay with it. A child can be psychologically evaluated to see that they are not fully aware of what's happening. They are not fully mentally developed to the point where they can know of what they're doing is okay or not. That's taking all legality out of it. Simply going off of biology of how we study brains. Yeah, he has, even though it's even though it's incredibly obvious I'll say it anyway, the two sexual acts are completely different. Yes. One is having sex with the same gender, the other is having sex with someone who has not yet hit um, sexual awareness as a human being. They don't know what sex is, they're not interested, they have no drive. So yeah, since the acts are so incredibly different, absolutely they are they are very I, different. I do want to draw a line because I feel like if us if certain people see this they're going to make this they're they're going to call out this in the comments i just want to make this distinction pedophilia does not refer to a 21 year old getting with a 16 year old that it actually, does not refer to a 18 year old getting with a 15 year old or 14 year old even pedophilia specifically pedophilia refers specific, to prepubescence prepubescence there is another term for someone who is has reached puberty but is not of legal age. That is, I believe, hemophilia. I actually have done a little bit of uh, research in this area. Um, that's just terrifying. Just a little bit of research into homosexuality and pedophilia, what I, both of which I consider to be sexual aberrations. Um, when they are in the tween and very young teen years, that is um, hemophilia. Yeah. Um, that would be ages like 10 to 13. Okay, so there's another one for and then, 13 to 18. And then 14 to 17 is ephibophilia. Okay, I know. Um, the, the later teen years. And okay. then 9 and under is um, pedophilia. Right. Actually, no, hold on. There's, no, it's like 9 to 2 is pedophilia. 2 and under the toddler stage, that is... God, there's a fucking do that? There's another turn. Oh. God. Uh, uh, the shit I'm just, thinking about this shit makes me disgusted. You see, I was I was objectively just thinking of the terms when you brought the actual subject to mind. I was like, oh gosh, uh, fuck. I, <laughs> but the and these are real issues. These are real Unfortunately. issues. Unfortunately, so and this is and the reason I'm bringing all this up is not to make you cringe or to make you cry. And God forbid, I'm certainly not trying to bring up any bad memories. That is not the intent here. I am trying to explore facts, I am trying to find truth, and I am trying to express what I believe to be truth to all of you and to my friend here. So, golly day, this could be some real triggering stuff. I might, <laughs> this might need to be... This Trigger might, warning. The, like, literally, like, no joke, no SJW bullshit. Like, this is, this could be some legitimate... This could actually bring back bad memories. Yeah, so, I, please, I need to remember to put a disclaimer yeah. in this video, I really do. Um, but whatever... I'm trying to remember the term for when they're toddlers, and I don't remember that particular term. But there is a term for it. Um, regardless, the point I was making out of all of this yeah. was, obviously the sexual acts are different. As far as choice goes, we've already established, you know, whenever you have sex, that's a choice. Unless it is rape, in which there is no choice, the other person is subjected to the other's sexual desires. And it's very obvious to see how pedophilia is pretty much synonymous with rape. Basically. Um, now, when it comes to desire... It's taking a much darker turn than I originally thought we would. <laughs> and yet, for me, looking at homosex... And am I comparing homosexuality to pedophilia on the level of desire... Yes, I am. We've already established they're two completely different sexual acts. Hopefully that won't be a debate. Or maybe in the comments it will be. Feel free to go ahead. Um, we've covered that in this video, and I feel comfortable that we've covered it thoroughly and well. But at the level of desire, therein lies the key question. Is that desire a choice, or were they born with it? Pedophilia carrying the tendencies it has, or, or the legal penalties that it has, and the social ostracism, ostr Wow, I'm tripping over my words. That's pretty bad. Go for it. Ostracization. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You're being ostracized. Um, 
why in the world would someone choose to do that if they weren't born that way? And therein, all of this framework to draw that parallel line. Because I wanted everyone to understand where I was coming from. I don't want to say homosexuals are just bad people and not give a very thorough explanation. Because I'm saying homosexuality is bad. It's a bad lifestyle choice. And it is a choice. And therefore, as a choice, it is something that isn't inevitable or can't be avoided. Or you, you know, you're just, you're born this way and that's the end of it. And a lot of the times, the being born this way is used as an excuse to, to live out this lifestyle. And pedophiles could use the exact same line of reasoning. And therein lies my problem with the whole thing. The question boils down to desire. There are obviously different sexual acts. We're all born as individuals with a personality and a heart. Our culture, our society, our parents frame us. Hopefully people come to their own opinions through self-study and self-reflection and inflection. And at the end of the day, sex, like everything else, is a choice whether you do it or not. The desire for what type of sex it is, how much of that is are you born with and how much of that is choice. I can throw at this point the same argument back on you. Pedophilia being the horrible thing that it is in this country, since it's so obviously not the right choice to make, yet those people do exist, why would they risk everything for that particular desire when it's so obviously hated? That dilemma that you presented, it exists in modern day America, just not with that particular with the particular sexual act that everyone now completely approves of. Well there is one caveat. Hmm. That one caveat being that pedophilia has never had any form of social justice. No one has ever come out and say, hey, no. I'm a pedophile, and pedophiles are, they're not bad. That is not true. There are under Well, at least they're not taken seriously. <laughs> in America. Well, actually... Where are they? Um, there is a country... Now, right, when this conversation is done, I do have some research to cite. So. Okay, gotcha. And we're, we're clo coming close to done. Um, I'll give this... Um, there is actually a pedophile party in some country in Europe. That's fucked. So, no, there are... I mean, I guess there is 4chan, but... Well, and where the members of 4chan have moved on to. But, yeah, actually, 4chan was the American underground movement that I was referring to. Yes, I'm, I'm going to completely refer to 4chan in this video. And yeah, oh, man, you're going to get, like, DDoxed. Yeah, that would that would suck. Um, at the same time, 4chan, I mean, their servers have been seized by the FBI on multiple occasions. Um, yeah. That's plain and simple. And has child porn surfaced on the website, specifically on B? Yes, it has. That is a thing. A Google search will very quickly show you that. that I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm simply saying that you can, you can Google find out that that has been a problem on the B board of 4chan and various other Chan sites in the past. Um, that's the primary reasons they are referred to, at least in my opinion, as the assholes of the internet because of the shit that they allow on their site. Yeah. Um, now, but yeah, so the pedophile party is a real thing. There are people. There are people who have come out publicly to defend it. And on that note, we're gonna end this video because well, we're at thirty. Ju I was we're at thirty minutes almost. Yes, I was saying it'd be real quick. Just read this little segment and then. Real quick. I mean, do you have, do you, do you have any more comments? I'm on done. I'm done. Okay, I'm so done. I'm just going to read this. Um, uh, I'm only saying one thing. It yeah. could obviously be found. You can obviously cite things for the opposite opinion. Um, I, this just happened to be one of the very first things I clicked on. Uh, the website is brainblogger.com. Uh, the title of the page is Homosexuality in the Brain. Uh, by Vyacheslav Wolosloff. Uh, some Russian name. I probably butchered that. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh, let me see. From an evolutionary point of view, homosexuality is rather difficult to explain. Any genetic trait that reduces the chances of producing offspring usually gets eliminated very quickly in populations. Nonetheless, homosexuality ap appears to persist in humans throughout the history of our species. There are multiple hypotheses explaining this phenomenon, but no hard proofs confirming any of them. I don't feel like reading this entire thing, but... Uh, according to one study, the human brain can show masculine or feminine traits. Women and men show those traits in their brains. Lesbian women were found to have masculine traits 
in their brain they're associated with heterosexual men. Um, homosexual men have feminine traits, have, uh, yeah, feminine traits in their brain that are usually associated with heterosexual women. Um, and that's just according to this. Like I said, you can find something from another website that says the opposite. Um, just going off the first link I clicked. I'll say that I, my first thought is those studies are fairly dime a dozen, and we are completely out we of time. We are completely out. Look forward to part three. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. And if you disliked it, oh boy, hit that dislike button. And if you I'm really hit the dislike button. Even though you're in it. <laughs> if you really liked it, share it with a friend. And no, I'm not joking. Share this video with a friend. Conservative coming out. Might not want to post it publicly. <laughs> Subscribe and join the freaks! I love you. God bless.